Hi guys, really excited to open this up. Gambit is my favourite X-Men, him or Wolverine. But always when I was younger, I loved Gambit. Um, I, I do like Wolverine, I've grown to love him over the years, but Gambit is just one of the coolest, I think, in the whole set. So I'm really happy to have him for Marvel Champions. I wasn't sure he'd ever come out. Um, Marvel Champions being my favourite game ever. So really excited to open this one up. He also comes with a Nemesis set featuring Belladonna and a new modular set that can be added to scenarios. So really cool pack. And he looks like he's got some really interesting powers. So let's uh, see what Remy LeBeau can do. If you like this video and want to see more Marvel Champions stuff, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave any comments you want. And uh, like, give me any tips as well, how to play him best, best decks and best strategies. Because I'm going to try and play him a bit going forward. So let's get this one open and I'll uh, give you an overview of his main strengths and weaknesses at the end. So let's check this one out. So we're going to open up Gambit. Really excited to see what cards he's got. I haven't really fully read up on him because I wanted to get the pack myself in my hands. But I have seen a few little spoilers of some cards and some things he can do. He looks interesting. That hopefully is cool to play as and fun. That's a great character from the actual comics. And uh, here we've got his little bonus thing. So there's our rules. And our picture as always from these. There's a nice little poster picture you can have. Or image of the box cover. Um, any kind of new things like piercing range, team up, villainous. That we've seen before, villainous is like gives you a face down boost card when the top of the encounter deck. Um, they can be quite annoying when the villain minion activates. So you normally try and kill off that minion quite quick. Uh, Gambit's little bit says... Gambit's strategy resolves around spending charge counters to increase the amount of damage dealt by your attack events. Use Gambit's charge, charge the card ability and his molecular acceleration resource to place charge counters on him. Then trigger Gambit's throw the card ability when you play Royal Flush to increase each instance of damage dealt by that attack. If there's too much threat on the main scheme, flip to Alter Ego form and use Creole Charmer or Remy LeBeau's Thief Extraordinaire ability to remove it. With the justice aspect, use breaking and entering to remove threat whilst in alter ego form. Pay for the thwart event with passion for justice and use operative skill upgrades to remove up to two additional threat. So, sounds like he's got a good bit of threat coverage. Um, sounds like he can be quite good in attack as well, hopefully. So, potentially a good, strong character. I found most of the X-Men so far have been quite strong and really cool. Um, very interesting. So his main cards, we've got um, a lot of shadow for some reason. His main cards, we've got um, charge the card. You place one charge counter here. You can do that once per round. Um, that's a really cool ability. And throw the card, which is an interrupt when you play an attack event. You can remove up to three charge counters from here. And that event deals plus one for each counter removed. So you can build them up and then spend three at once. Um, you've got a rogue ally, of course. Uh, reduce the cost to play rogue by one for each charge counter on your identity. So if you can get three or four onto here, you can play her for free, I guess. It doesn't say there's any limit to how many he can have in total. So you could get four on there and then therefore get her out for free, which is brilliant. And she comes in with toughness as well. And she's got two thwart and two attack. So she's a really cool ally, really good. And most probably really cheap to get out if you can get her out mid-game. Thieves Guild, after you resolve the Thief Extraordinary ability, exhaust the Thieves Guild and you remove a threat from a scheme. If this removes the last threat from that scheme, you get to draw a card as well. It's a great support card. Upgrade um, Gambit Staff. When an enemy attacks, exhaust Gambit Staff to deal the damage to that enemy. Brilliant, nice one cost upgrade. Another good upgrade, Gambit's Guild Armor. After Gambit defends against an attack and takes no damage, exhaust his, arm, his Guild Car Armor to ready Gambit. So that's brilliant. Uh, these three upgrades are amazing. If you can get all three of them out, I think he's going to be brilliant. Event, you've got an attack here, deal four damage to an enemy for this attack if Gambit's throw the card ability arrive. Removed at least one counter, it gains ranged. Two counters against piercing, three counters you get overkill. So if you use three counters, not only will you get the seven damage for that, you'll also get overkill or six damage and piercing or five damage and ranged. So there's three of those. That's really nice. Royal Flush, there's two of those. Place one charge counter on Gambit. Deal zero damage to an enemy, deal zero damage to an enemy, deal zero damage to an enemy. So not only are you giving charge counters to him, if you spend some, 
then you've got three different attacks there. So one counter get you three, two would get you six, three would get you nine. And uh doesn't seem to be a, oh there is a limit, you can only remove up to three at once. So you're gonna end up getting nine damage off that across one character or a multiple. Uh, naturally agility, you've got two of these. When you defend against an attack, place one charge counter on Gambit. For each charge counter on Gambit, you get plus one defense. Uh, nice. That's handy. Creole Charmer. Got two of those. Remove three threat from a scheme. And if this removes the last threat from that scheme, you confuse the villain as well. Molecular Acceleration. When you spend this card, place one charge counter on Gambit. That is a, uh electric and a fist resource. That's two resources, but also then... Gives you charge counters onto Gambit as well. That's a really nice card. It's a double double resource, basically. The charge counters. If you've got two of them, you've got four resources. Instead of just one from each card. Then you've got Bishop as an ally. Uh, after an enemy attacks, you place one energy counter here. When Bishop attacks, remove each energy counter from here for each counter this card. That's where he gets plus two attack for this to attack to a maximum of six. So he can go up to six damage per thing, um, which is really nice. Dazzler, who's uh, enters play and confuses the enemy. She's four to come in, but confusing can be really good. Uh, upgrades here, you've got three operative skills. Use three operative counters, maximum one player. When you thwart, remove one operative counter from here, and that removes an extra threat. So he's got really good threat negation. Uh, you've got stealth strike, it's three of those. Deal four damage to this enemy. If that enemy is defeated by this attack, remove two threat from a scheme. Obviously, then you can also add your counters to this to give you. Uh, up to an extra up to seven damage and then if you do defeat that enemy you get two threat off the scheme as well three of those breaking and entering uh play only if you have the spy or thief trait which he has remove three threat from a scheme again more threat negation and a passion for justice when you spend this card play a four event that event removes one additional threat so he does really well with threat it seems he might be a brilliant foil for um for wolverine who doesn't seem to so far do great with threat and then you've got some basic cards you've got professor x and when he enters play either confuse the villain stun a minion or ready an x-men character at the end of the round if professor x is still in play discard him so he only lasts for one round but he's quite cool uh the x mansion exhaust the x mansion to heal the damage from a mutant or x-men character any player whose alter ego has a mutant trait may trigger this ability uh, that's a really cool card to support you've got beauty and the thief Team up Gambit and Rogue, max one per hero, deal four damage to an enemy and remove four threat from a scheme. That's a brilliant card if you're playing both of them. Uh, you got three hit and runs, attack, deal two damage to an enemy, remove two threat from a scheme. Uh, and you've got three mutant education, says um, choose up to two identity specific cards in your discard pile and shuffle them into your deck. If X Mansion is play in play, you get to draw a card as well. So you're getting a lot of stuff and then you've got your doubles, one of each. One of the electric, one of the science, and one of the aggression resource. And then his obligation is uh, exhaust Remy LeBeau and spend an electric resource. Remove guild business from the game. If you don't, then you're getting plus uh, encounter cards every round. Which is annoying. I would not want that out. I would be getting rid of that. I think you get that straight away, actually. When it comes out, I think you've got to do that to get rid of that obligation. But I think you'll get an extra card, maybe. I need to read up on that. I'm not sure. Uh, the minion is Belladonna. She's a uh, two scheme, three attack, and five toughness. And then obviously the back is extra cards you get with this deck. But they're not the rest of the card deck. So you've got three war rooms and aggression. Uh, max one per player. After an enemy attack, an ally attack, sorry, and defeats a minion, exhaust war room and remove a threat from a scheme. No more threat. And you've got three event cards for basic X-Men instruction. Can only play it if you're a mutant and choose up to two X-Men allies in your discard pile and shuffle them into your deck. If X Mansion is play, you get to draw a card. That's quite a nice one. And then you have this minion Exodus, uh, which is an encounter set. You can add into any kind of battle with some cool stuff. Um, I think that's about it for the cards. Um, as for Gambit himself, I think he looks brilliant, especially teamed up with Rogue. And if you can get these support, these this support and these two upgrades out. He's going to be fantastic. I think he looks really, really strong. I've not played him yet, so obviously I can't give a full-on overview because I've only just opened the pack. But I think he looks really cool. I think he's going to be strong. He's got good attack and he's got good threat manipulation and um, can get rid of that threat quite easily. So for me, I wouldn't be surprised if he's one of the strongest so far. 
um, and it doesn't seem too difficult to play either. So really looking forward to trying him out. Like I say, one of my favourites, so he's definitely going to be getting played soon. And that is Gambit for Marvel Champions. If you've got any questions or want to leave any comments, please do. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you on the next one.